Hey guys, even here and something interesting happened today or should I say 20 minutes ago as soon as I saw the post I had to make a video about this because this is big, this is huge. This is Sean Roden, your 2018 Mr. Olympia doing a vacuum pose finally. This is the first time we can see this and it looks phenomenal, it looks great. But before we start analyzing this, let's go back in time. Let's go back in 2013, back when Sean Roden was actually known for being the most aesthetic guy. During those years, Sean was not the biggest one, but he was still placing very high due to his, well, I wouldn't really say conditioning, he was conditioned, don't get me wrong, but what he was known for were those aesthetic lines. He was representing everything that was aesthetic in bodybuilding during the early 2010s. But later, a little bit later, he had to get bigger. He just had to get a little bit bigger to be more competitive in this lineup, and he did get quite a bit bigger, like 10 or 15 pounds bigger, but in the process, his waist got a little bit worse, his stomach got a little bit bloated, and it seems like his arms were bigger back in the day actually, but everything else grew. So this was him, this was him and his stomach was perfect, everything was there, I mean, he had the lines, he had a tight small waist, no distension, no bloating, very, very aesthetically pleasing physique. Although he never hit vacuum pose, not until today, but he was still very, very aesthetic. Everything was aesthetic about his physique. Here you can basically notice that his legs weren't as big as they are today, and everything else just got bigger. Wrist and head to the rest of the body ratio is different today, he's much bigger, so... With this newly added size, he was definitely able to place better. He was in that top three for a couple of years, and finally he won the Mr. Olympia with this shape right here. So as you can see, still very aesthetic physique, very very aesthetic physique, but there is this bulge in his lower abs. But even with this kind of stomach, with this distension, a tiny bit distension action going right there, he was still very aesthetic. Everything else was just on point. As you can see this pose right here, side tricep, very very aesthetically pleasing. But you can notice his lower abs, and you can notice it especially when he's relaxed. For example right here. You can see that this is not exactly a tight, firm, flat stomach. It is a tiny little bit of a bubble gut. It's not a disaster, but it's not great. And if he was able to hit a proper vacuum pose, which shouldn't be hard for him, it's not a that big of a bubble gut, and if Rolly was able to do it, of course Sean can do it, and he just proved it to us today. So we were all imagining, how would it look like? Would it be even more aesthetic? Of course it would, but back a couple of months ago, Maybe you guys remember this, but somebody commented on his photo and they said huge props to Rolly for hitting a vacuum at the Iron Classic Australia. How about it, champ? You think you're gonna hit a vacuum at the Olympia? And he said, let's do this. And a couple of months later, there you go. Sean Rodden doing a vacuum pose. He promised it and he did it. Unfortunately, we did not see this at the Mr. Olympia, but next time we saw him competing, he will definitely do it. And guys, it looks amazing. Look at how tiny that stomach is. Is he at his normal size? Is he a little bit downsized? Well, maybe, but he's not competing right now. You know him, he goes off in his off-season, he doesn't like to push the, the envelope that much in the off-season. When he's prepping, that's when he's pushing hard, and when he gets conditioned, that's when he looks the most impressive. So the truth is, the size is not a problem for Sean, when he gets conditioned, he looks much more impressive than what he looks like in the off-season, but as you can see, he managed, he knows how to do a vacuum, which means his stomach control will be better. Also, vacuum is a very popular thing to do today, so it will make the show more exciting, and it is definitely enhancing a physique. Everybody can do a vacuum and make their waist look smaller than it actually is. And Sean's waist is actually known to be very small, but with adding a vacuum pose, it's gonna look amazing, and I'm really looking forward to seeing Sean on the stage once again, and hopefully at a Mr. Olympia stage next year. I would really love to see that. Without Phil Heath coming back and actually looking better than he was in 2018, I don't see anybody beating Sean, really. He looks much better than anybody who competed in 2019 Mr. Olympia, with his 2018 shape. If he showed up like he was in 2018, he would probably win the Mr. Olympia 2019, and uh, it's really a sucky thing that we didn't see him over there, but it is what it is. Let's hope this whole situation resolves by the time to 20 Mr. Olympia comes, because that's gonna be a crazy Mr. Olympia, and I'm really looking forward to seeing Sean competing over there. What do you guys think about him doing a vacuum pose? Do you think it looks good? Would you like to see him hitting it at the Mr. Olympia stage? Of course you would, but just 
whatever you take is tell me down below in the comment section please like the video but only if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe for more bodybuilding updates and all kinds of bodybuilding videos thank you very much guys for watching and uh, all the best bye bye